So hi, I'm Fernando Perez from IO Builders. Uh, I'm the co-CEO and co-founder of IO Builders. And we are going to share with you the how we use Hyperlayer Bezu. A little bit of introduction about who we are and what we do. So IO Builders is a blockchain technology company. We are mainly focused on giving corporates and companies uh, blockchain-based solutions, trying to leverage the benefits and, and, and try to bridge them into this uh, new technology. So, long story short, we, we started in 2018. Uh, we are based in Spain, Madrid. And nowadays, after this uh, long five years, we are having clients in two different, two, 10 different geographies. Uh, we have more than 25 clients and we are almost more than 90 people, mainly based in Spain. Our business lines are mainly focused on digital securities, uh, NFTs. Uh, we are also starting to be in the legal tech markets. Uh, we are very focused on creating new ventures on the alternative markets, financial markets. And well, we, as we are uh, experts in Hyperlayer Beso and Enterprise Ethereum, we have uh, also uh, different engagements and deep tech uh, assignments. Uh, as you can see, there are different clients we're working around the world, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Spain, and different locations. Well, uh, our story with Hyperlayer Best, who started in 2018, uh, as we already know, uh, there was a team in consensus uh, called Pantheon who was developing, well, the Pegasus, sorry, who was developing the Pantheon, which was the early uh, bootstrapping of, of Besu. And we were one of the first committers and adopters. No? We were testing the technology, we were giving feedback from what we were using, comparing Quorum in that days with Hyperlayer Besu in that sense, Pantheon. And also committing with bugs, uh, performance reviews, etc. Added to that, we were uh, mainly founders of Alastria and uh, Lacting, which is a big consortium in Spain and in Latin America, uh, being the first team developing and implementing the, the networks. So all this uh, feedback and close loop with the Pegasus team gave us a lot of uh, information, knowledge, networking. Then in 2020-21, uh, the whole the code of uh, Pegasus Pantheon was moved to Hyperlayer Besu, rebranded, and uh, well, uh, then we started to be part of the Hyperlayer Foundation uh, afterwards. But then, uh, just to say, we were engaged also at Besu to to make NIST compliant. So we worked on the on the consensus algorithm, uh, also on the 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 private key signatures, etc to make it NIST compliance. And while well, we had different engagements uh, around uh, these years, building new networks, trying to boot them up and trying to face different topologies in the enterprise world. Uh, and then, uh, well, we finally are iPlayer members. Uh, we have been doing bespoke plugin development in the, in the Hyperlayer based environment and well, uh, we are trying to position and monetize different uh, solutions that we have, platforms, around Hyperlayer Besu. Well, uh, when we talk about different projects, we have here different details to, to share. So we have been doing more than 10 different projects in Hyperlayer Besu. Maybe 80%, 70% are based on our base products. Other ones are bespoke implementations. They're mainly focused, most of them, on the financial markets. Uh, with different digital securities implementation. We have been working with BME, BBA, Citibank, and IDB to issue a bond, a uh, regulated bond with all the legal regulation and compliance taken into account to finally issue uh, a 1400 standard uh, smart contracts implementation in a private hyperlayer based uh, network. We have been doing also SDG with uh, COD, carbon credit markets, uh, also with uh, crypto brokering. We are working actually with all funds, implementing, implementing all the market and uh, distribution between uh, all funds. And other projects that we are sharing here on the screen, 
And somebody in the crowd was asking about what we're doing in NFT. So we are working with Palm.io. We are uh, the engineering team of Palm.io, uh, helping to develop over the Palm network, which is based on Hyperlayer Besu, to uh, help on the adoption of IP brands of the NFTs. No? I, we think we are really believers, and you will see afterwards with our platform that NFTs are main drivers of fan engagement, which is around the consensus it has been uh, pitched uh, in different uh, talks and, and tables. And well, as you see and see, there are different projects around the world working with Hyperlayer Bresu as private networks, as we know with QBFT nowadays, with IBFT2 and the uh, before and well, uh, most of the the projects have in common that they need to have a private network. They're either consortiums or or financial entities that are not open nowadays to go for the mainnet or are reluctant or only want to uh, make a baselining on the on the mainline on the mainnet. Sorry, and well. Uh, we have different topologies from 100 nodes to four nodes, uh, almost in the network plus the the riders. And more, most that's what we wanted to share with the different projects that we have. No, uh, going deeper into the what we are doing, we have two main Meyer products. One is mainly focused on digital securities and and the financial aspects. So we are tokenizing funds, bonds, syndicate loans. Uh, shares different financial assets, uh, digital securities, and on the other hand, we are uh, working on an NFT space, making a full platform, which is oriented to Web2 users, uh, where we are making easy uh, the adoption on NFT. So a, a big brand can work with us, and we uh, give the full service of making the front end with the platform, the custody, uh, dealing with the network, etc. We will go deeper into the, these two products. One is a seto which will be sent by my colleague Carlos, and then afterwards I will come back and talk about Wonka. So I pass my, the mic to, to Carlos, and he will talk uh, more about the Seto. Thank you, Fernando. Well, I'm uh, Carlos Matilla. I'm a co-CEO of uh, IO Builders. Uh, I'm in charge of the business growth of the company, and I'm going to be talking about Aceto. So Aceto is, as Fernando was introducing, uh, is our digital securities platform. So it's a platform that we call a next generation capital markets and financing solutions uh, operating on, on DLT. The main purpose of, of the product is basically to issue, to manage and to trade digital securities, traditional securities like uh, bonds, uh, shares, funds, uh, syndicated loans, and any other uh, type of uh, private equity, for example, uh, fund shares. So something that is uh, related to the regulated environment, but bringing it to you know, a more digital, more efficient, and more transparent uh, world, what is what, what Aceto bring. So Aceto, in essence, is our prop technology. So it's our uh, full technology stack that we have developed uh, in-house, based using all the experience we've got with the projects that Fernando was explaining with main financial institutions. We are building uh, good partnerships with industrial players in the real estate sector, in the energy sector, um, in the private equity sector, and in the main, in the mainly in the, in the financial sector. And basically, our aim is to, to, to bring digital assets and traditional financial instruments to, to a different level. So we want to basically provide liquidity to those instruments that today, in some world of some kind of illiquid, like uh, the, 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 the areas I just mentioned, and we want to create that market. So that supermarket uh, that can be um, more accessible to any kind of investor. So in essence, we are starting to work more on the private banking side uh, on the institutional world, but our objective is to, have, at the end, you know, get to any kind of investor, any accredited investor in the retail world. So that, that's our objective. But I think, uh, as, as Fer was saying as well, we, um, we are not there yet, so we are starting to offer our solutions to the, to the regulated environment. So basically that, uh, that is Aceto. So Aceto uh, is uh, we are a multi-blockchain as well uh, platform. Um, Hyperledger uh, is, is one of the solutions we are using uh, because as well, I think the financial institutions today feel comfortable using um, a more you know, private permission 
uh, environment and they're not ready to, to go yet to, to any mainnet. So I think that's that's basically where we are trying to go. But I think the business is doing very well. So I think institutions are embracing uh, the technology in, in the right way. Um, we are also covering not just the financial institutions, but also the issuers. So I think this is about issuers in different sectors, like real estate developers trying to get some liquidity to the investment. So try to get more financing and, and to get to alternative markets in a quicker and more efficient way. So that's what we are trying to do with, with Aceto. Uh, basically, our target audience, uh, as I said, so issuers, it can be any kind of corporate and financial institution, uh, any small and medium enterprise who want to get financing and to get access to capital markets today, and they are looking to a quicker um, and access more uh, in a cheaper way to raise equity or debt, um, because today, you know, if, if you need to go to a traditional multilateral trading facility or market infrastructure, that's really costly, it's not that efficient. So I think this way is, is, is a more efficient way to, to access the, um, the financing industry. From the investor side, as I said, I think everyone, uh, especially on the buy side, uh, they are seeing the, the, this model as a really good opportunity to bring more products to the clients. And I think that's, that's, a really, key, that's really key. Uh, so because we are not just using the technology to make it more efficient, but also to get to new products. And new products can be, for example, tokenizing real estate, tokenizing energy renewable projects, tokenizing infrastructure projects, tokenizing private equity, tokenizing syndicated loans in secondary markets. So that's in essence what we are trying to do. Just a little bit of context very quick. So, uh, and this is quite representative and it has been one of the main topics as well in, in consensus. So public markets are going down. So the amount of companies that are being listed in, in public markets is going down since, since a few years ago. Uh, and on the contrary, you are seeing um, all these alternative markets really booming. So people and investors want to access those kind of investments. And they are investments that are not liquid. So that's what they are trying to see with, with our model. But um, in essence, they, they want to get to a more profitable uh, business market that is uh, the alternative market. So in essence, Aceto, just to cover very quickly, um, Aceto, you know, we use tokenization as, a, as a, our tokenization engine to basically uh, digitalize all the digital securities. Uh, we do mainly four things here. So we issue the financial instrument, we distribute it among the investors, they can do the trading on secondary markets, and then we would manage all the redemption at the end of at maturity of the of the investment. This is in an overview how our solution is uh, is scoped. So we basically focus on with our core API to build vertical marketplaces. So vertical marketplaces can be, for example, anyone that is interested in building a real estate marketplace and wants to tokenize and build their market in one geography. So we can offer them the whole platform uh, to do uh, to manage all, all their assets. We manage the account, client accounts. Uh, we have all the compliance uh, rules managed and built on. Uh, we manage notifications with investors. We can do all the workflow and traditional uh, client uh, contract like life cycle management. We manage all the custody of the assets and we integrate it. Uh, we integrate as well the payments. So again, here we are flexible. We have our own solutions, but if any client wants today to uh, basically launch their own marketplace, we will integrate with a payment supplier they will tell us to, to do. And then we have, in, in essence, you know, all the connectivity, all the blockchain ingress uh, to tokenize the, the financial securities and to also tokenize the cash. So we're trying to enable, you know, a very DVP model that today um, is a silla challenge because, uh, you know, there is no uh, common solution for, for, for cash uh, tokenization. But uh, we are exploring all the industrial and the main uh, initiatives worldwide. 
So just to give you uh, three examples, so our three main products that we have today uh, in Aceto. The first one is our regulated multilateral trading facility. It's basically a market that we are developing in, in Europe uh, with European license. So we are working here very closely with the Spanish regulators and the European regulator and the, what they call the, the pilot regime, which is the new European regulatory framework to tokenize and to trade um, financial securities on the LT. So that's uh, one of our star projects at the moment. Um, we are applying this to um, a few verticals on real estate. We are creating a market in Europe for, to tokenize real estate investments. Um, and we are replicating the same for the sports industry as well. For, for example, clubs that want to raise capital uh, and don't want to go public or basically are challenging with, with, financial, um, with financing and, and don't want to go to a traditional financial uh, lending market. The second one is uh, Aceto Private Markets. Aceto Private Markets is basically our private equity solution. So we want to tokenize and we're tokenizing private equity fund shares on the primary and secondary market. The secondary market here is a little bit more different to the first one you see uh, there, but um, that secondary market is more a private uh, competitive auction market uh, where you, you know investors, if they want to basically exit their position, they can go and do it on, on, on DLT. And the last one, uh, which is um, referred to the main, one of the main projects we did last year with BABA, is basically to build a solution to tokenize indicated loan participations. And that's a good solution because we, uh, the market, you know, syndicated loans can be, and that's a core product that can be built in any kind of geography. Um, and we are currently forming a kind of consortium with uh, the three main banks uh, in, in Spain. Just a little bit more of idea, what I, I think I mentioned it already, but the, our three main use cases at the moment, uh, more from a business point of view, is corporate bonds. So we are tokenizing corporate bonds uh, traditional, in a traditional way. Um, we are now focusing on green, as well, on, on green bonds that are quite trendy in the market. Uh, and I think as well the tag, the ESG tax can help a lot on, to do that and blockchain can help with that. And we've imp implemented quite a few use cases. Fernando mentioned it before. Um, as I said, we are building a real estate and renewable energy market. So basically, re um, energy uh, developers and real estate developers can raise capital or equity uh, through our platform and get liquidity on the secondary market for their shares or their debt. And then on the sports sector, as I said, we are issuing ordinary and preferred shares for football clubs that want to access the community. And we are combining that with the NFT space that Fernando will come in a, in a bit uh, to not just provide the economic rights, but also to provide uh, with some uh, utility to the fans and to the investor that have bought the, the shares. So as an investor of a club, you basically benefit for all the economic uh, benefits like paying dividends or capital gains if the club is sold, but also uh, having some utility to interact with the clubs, to basically manage a relationship with, with them, uh, similar to, for example, what uh, what Socios is, is doing on the on the sports sector. And I think that's it. I'll pass over to Fernando, who will be talking about the our NFT uh, platform called Woka. Thanks, Carlos. Well, let's go to talk about Wonka. So Wonka is an NFT financing platform. And the main thing is that when we tackle brands and we, we talk about the solution, we don't talk about NFTs. It's all about fan engagement. So mainly we, we discovered and we see a, a main talent. You now brands want to have awareness, want to have uh, a, feel, a real engagement with his fans and want to go into the fan engagement circle, which is you want a customer to be a starter in your brand and drive him through to be an ambassador, to try to have him more linked to you, to have this awareness with him. So the idea is to 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 tackle this this challenge. No, uh, day by day, the society is uh, willing to have differentiation. Everyone wants to have a different sp uh, shoes than the other ones. The different wear, uh, going to different places wants to really be different, no? And I think from a brand perspective, the, the brands are understanding that and trying to make anyone feel different in different uh, scenarios, no? Also the, the feeling of belonging, to own something, no? To be really close to the brand. There where we see the challenge, 
and we see opportunity uh, there because their brands are exploring different ways of engagement. There's metaverse, NFTs, uh, raising, uh, personalizing, and, and making unique experiences something that everybody is aware of. And there are different reasons around formal society, as we mentioned before. Uh, there's a lot of marketing budgets trying to explore that, and we see a, a, a big space and potential there. What we identify as a solution, uh, we identify a solution as Wonka, which is our platform, trying to make a Web 2 experience over Web 3. So uh, we want to create mass adoptions, we want to go for mainstream, we, make it, we need to make it uh, easy, no? Uh, why we need to make it easy? Because people are not aware what a wallet is, what a blockchain is, but they know what they can own. They can own an experience, they can own a meet and greet with a fan, they can own budgets that exp explain that there are super fans. And if you explain that the blockchain can represent them that and they can have the ownership, they will understand it. You don't need to uh, speak uh, more about that. You, can, you, you, can, you don't need to give them more details. So I think we can do with uh, Web3 technology things that we were doing before, but better. But having this feeling of belonging, no? Uh, and that's why we believe that ownership is a fan engagement catalyst. Well, what is uh, our platform about? So we have different engagement tools uh, like uh, Merch and Burn. We have uh, voucher redemption uh, that can issue an NFT. We have, uh, we are working on leaderboards. We're working on different things that will make that the fan can have different experience and the brand can have tools to really uh, make a, a super fan concept, no? And make the fandom. Uh, our platform is mainly focusing on making a brand experience. So we uh, define with you, with the brand, uh, the detailed UX, the own experience of the, call it the universe of the brand. Uh, and then we uh, help the brand to make the, faith, the first uh, adoption of NFTs, no? which is making maybe a paid uh, drop, maybe a, a first uh, a marketing experience where they can play around uh, the ownership of, of uh, badges. And so uh, progressively we, we are trying to give the brand different tools to make the, the, the fan closer to, to the experience, no? Well, uh, going to the technical details of the platform, we have uh, a robust platform that has been uh, managing more than 5 million transactions at the API level, has more than 1 million NFTs issues, and have more than 250,000 uh, users. Uh, we are using as the usual blast uh, scenarios in, in ticketing space a queuing system where you are uh, waiting for your turn to really buy what is underneath or the, the experience you have there. Uh, that means we are mixing Web 2 and Web 3 experience. We have a full uh, white label solution with an SDK at the front end level that enables you to build your own experience or we build it for you. And aside that, we have a platform working with different partners around the world for payments. We're working with Circle, with Sardine for the QIC. We're working at the blockchain level to interact with the with Palm Network and other ABMs with Blast and Infura. We're starting to add up uh, Hyperlayer Firefly for other use cases. We have a full admin panel that gives you self-service uh, configuration of your platform as a brand. And we make the full custody with uh, Fivelux and Onis, which is a Spanish company. And, and that's almost our platform. No? So we have different tools, quite sophisticated, to help the brands to, to in, the, in the travel of fan engagement. And at the network level, we are supporting palm.io, which is a hyperlayer based implementation. And it's a private uh, network focused on NFTs. We also support Nedera, which is also EVM based and other EVM compatible networks. Uh, Let's talk about the use cases to give an example. Nowadays, we have been working with different players around the world. We have three main use cases that summarize the, the, the usage of our platform. In one sense, we are working with Caixa, which is a Spanish bank. They have a, they have a new bank called Imagine Bank. And they approached us that because they wanted to issue NFTs, not in a sense to issue an NFT. 
they wanted to give a badge to users to to save uh, the world from plastic so there's a the marketing approach where there anyone who uh, is going to pay uh, over uh, an, an amount of uh, of uh, given amount of threshold uh, during a month they're going to receive an NFT that represents 10 kilos of plastic saved in the world that's the starting point of their universe because they want to go in a SDG world giving the, uh, their users the the way to use their savings and use their daily investments in uh, in a fund investment platform so they're telling a story step by step how to uh, make impact in the in the world saving plastic and making SDG investment and that's all underneath is NFTs but they're not explaining as an NFT they're step by step making more engagement and we are also working uh, with DC Comics and Palm NFT Studio which is uh, what our main use case nowadays, uh, the, the most driving traffic uh, platform, the traffic driving platform, where we are giving the full universe of NFTs to, to DC Comics fans. We are making nowadays, uh, for example, uh, blockchain comics. Uh, you can buy an NFT, which is worth between $10 and $20. And randomly, we are assigning you between a, a rare, a common, and a legendary. And you have access to uh, even old or new comics. They can read online in a reader. You can trade them in a the secondary. We are talking about Batman, Superman, uh, Flash, etc. No? And that's a use case where we are seeing that fans are used to have uh, physical comics. They are bridging the, the world into digital. They really want to have experience close to DC because they love the brand, they love the, love the films, they love the full community, and uh, giving them the tools to really uh, giving different utilities engagement is uh, driving the community forward to a new experience with the, with the brand, with DC. You know? And the third scenario is an employee recognition plan that KPMG has started in Europe, which mainly is based on uh, giving uh, batches to user to their client, sorry, to their uh, employees, based on different actions, and well, uh, it's also uh, exemplarizing different use cases you can have uh, with different brands, where the brands have different users, in the sense of KPMG are the are the employees, and Panavit Studio are the fans of the DC Comics world, in the banking scenario are the users of the bank, no, uh, so. That's more or less Wonka about, no? Uh, trying to, without really working in NFTs, to give tools to the brands to embrace the NFT, the Web3 area, the Web3 space, and making the life easier for brands and helping to boost common uh, practices and methodologies we had in the past, like uh, loyalty points, leaderboards, etc., with a wider experience via NFTs. And well, that's mainly our our product. Thank you for listening and hope it was enjoyable and you have fun.